This is just a quick video comparing using text or a formula for getting around the problem of not being able to freeze columns in Notion. When you scroll to the right in Notion, your column disappears on the left, which means if you wanted to mark something according to someone's name and you can't see it when you want to mark them in more tags 11, you don't know who you're selecting a tag for. A workaround for that is to put another column between columns for more tags 10 and more tags 11 and replicate the names there using text. This is not the recommended process but let's have a look at what it looks like. We create a new column, we're going to call it names repeated. We're going to drag that column in between tags 10 and tags 11 then we're going to go back to our original column we're going to press escape control shift down to select everybody's name control c to copy them we're going to go across to names repeated press control v paste all of those names in there now what we're going to see is if one of the staff want to change their name, so Jennifer wants to change their name to Jenny, like so. If you go across to our inserted column over here, you can see their name is still Jennifer. Now it's not hard to click on that and change that to Jenny as well. The bigger problem is if something goes wrong with your data, people don't know to update it, someone else is using the table. Many different things can go wrong in business when you do something like this and demanding that extra task for people to remember is an opportunity for mistakes and confusion. It's much safer and much easier if instead of repeating the text that was in the column on the left, you actually link to it using a formula. So we're going to change this column type to a formula now we can click anywhere in these cells and click on the name because that's the property that we want to copy across. Click on done. Straight away we've got all of our names over here. If we want to change a name over here, so Christopher now wants to be called Chris. You can see immediately Chris has been updated here. If you want to add another person we only have to add them once, so we're going to put Claire in here and you can see over on the right hand side Claire is already be added. So not only is it faster to use a formula, it's also less work and less opportunity for mistakes. And let's just see how easy that is over here. We're going to put names repeated in again. We're going to select formula. We're going to click on one of the cells, click on name, press done. Simple as that. Thank you for watching.